lovely Saturday morning here. Um, wife and kid are in bed, they're not well. So I've got a wee bit of spare time. And I want to make a video about something that's been bothering me. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. But something that's been confusing me at least. This is going to be a waffly video, so stick with it. It's the weird way that some people seem to judge other collectors. Is that right? I'm tired from being up all night with the baby, so I might be wording this wrong. Um, so please don't misunderstand me. <clears throat> it is... When I first started collecting Transformers, and to be fair, I'm, I'm a late comer to the game, um, I knew about Transformers as a kid. I had them as a kid, I loved them as a kid. It was something that I wanted to collect for years, but just never got round to it. And then, uh, through knowing another collector, that got me spurred on, and, and I started doing it, I started enjoying it. I really consider myself to be an amateur, a proper amateur. Um, I don't have the knowledge of some of the canons, I don't know, have the, the the backgrounds of some of the characters, I don't read the comics. Um, I've tried to watch nearly every iteration of the cartoon. I've not watched um, Armada yet, but I've watched, obviously the originals, I've watched <coughs> Animated, which is really good. I've watched Prime, which is, in my opinion, the best Transformers series there's been. Uh, I'm watching R.I.D. at the moment, and it took a while to get here, but I judged it at face value to begin with, and it's coming off the back of Prime, which um, animation sort of style was really really well done. Um, I was judging it on that, and I thought, this looks like it's a cartoon for kids, and it is, as Transformers should be. It is for kids. But I never re I never realised how nice the, the design aspects were until I sat down and gave it a good watch. It was one day, I wasn't feeling well a couple of weeks ago, and I started watching it, and uh, I realised how good it was. So, at this point, I'd consider myself a bit more genned up on Transformers than I was when I started collecting. Um, but the problem is, I see people ragging on on toys that come out, or, or lines that come out, uh, like, like the R.I.D. lines, it gets a lot of shit. And I don't know why. Um, it's th This video's been spurred on by the whole hate for Sun Surge, Bad Cube Sun Surge. I've just watched reviews for, uh, what's it called? Shot out or something? <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, drop out or shot out or something. The other, the, the, the other Sun Surge um, third party that's that's come out and he's just been releasing the reviews for that. Sorry, I'm dead tired. What the fuck's he called? Anyway, the, the reviews for him, he, he looks shocking. He looks shocking. He's like quality control mess all over. It's just unbelievable. Some of the design aspects are just... It's like mind blown how the why this has even came out so it would be a physical thing that's available to buy. Not that anyone will by the by the looks of it, even if he has dropped it to like a thirty quid mark. Pardon me. Anyway. Uh, I can understand why people don't like things like R the R I D toys. I've got a couple here. Like I've got Thunderhoof. And I can understand why people like genuine collectors might not be that interested in this line. They are for kids. They are hollow messes at the back. Look, I mean, there's nothing there. Look at the back of his legs. You could fucking store your luggage in there. So I can understand why people are, are a bit pissed, kind of like, a bit poo-poo these wee, but they're, they're, I, mean, I love them. I absolutely I love them, because I think they're just so unique looking and, and pretty awesome. I just like them. But, um, I can understand why people are kind of a bit like, mm, doing shit. Even Combiner Wars. Um, Combiner Wars eventually got a bit, a bit, like, lazy. Just repaints with different heads, and it's like, oh come on, you could have done a little bit better. I know, I know they have to keep the price down. I know the the the, the fifteen quid mark isn't it a bad price to pay for a transformer toy. I think, but for what you're getting, they could have given you a couple extra stickers. Give us a fucking sticker sheet. How much is that going to cost you? I'll put one myself. So yeah, I can understand why people kind of don't like certain lines and certain to toy lines and certain cartoons, whatever they call it. That's fine. But there seems to be a real sort of need on some parts to like say say to other people like you like that that shit why do you like it that's just ridiculous for liking that like being the like the sort of background observer almost because I don't get involved in a lot of conversations because I don't really have the knowledge to I don't want to just come across and be like here's shit for cause I'd rather if I if I was gonna bring an argument to the table or, or a discussion at the table I'd rather be knowledge have the knowledge to do it. I wouldn't just come and say shite for the sake of it like I am now. 
basically. I don't understand why some people, especially the third party types, are willing to jump down the throats of others on what they buy. Um, because a lot of the time it's not th it's not them saying this is why you should be a third party guy. Look at this. It's them saying you should be a third party guy because what you've just got there is shit. And I'm starting to think that the I mean I've always thought about it in terms of money. Um, it, what you pay, you pay for what you get. So if you're going to pay like 270 quid for a big fucking third party Omega Supreme then that's fair enough, you should you should get your enjoyment out of it, but to get 300 quid worth of enjoyment out of a toy, you're going to have to go a long way. It's going to have to fucking have gimmicks up the wazoo for me before I start spending that kind of money. Or look so much like the original, that, like what the character it's based on, to make it worth it. Um, unless you, I mean, obviously unless you, you go for the technical aspects and love the, the intricate details and the transformation and the, the mechanics, yeah, then I suppose you get your money's worth, because if it is... I mean, that's one of the reasons Sun Surge is so good, yet people seem to think he's so bad. Because of his transformation. Which, I'm sorry, but if his transformation is difficult, it's because you've not done it enough. It's not difficult, it's just, tech, like, it's complicated. But once you've done it two or three times, then he's fine. So if you if you can't transform your Sun Surge easily, um, that's your fault for not playing with him, not him. <laughs> that's not his fault. In my opinion. In my opinion. It's a very important thing that should be said more often. I don't know. This is just waffle. I just want to get this out there because it, I don't really get involved in, in rants on Facebook and stuff because, like I said, I don't know enough about it. But my personal opinion is, at the end of the day, if you're spending money on a, on anything, it doesn't have to be a, a Transformer, it can be anything. If you can get your money's worth of enjoyment, pleasure, or fulfilment, whatever, out of what you've, you've paid for, then you, then it's worth your money. Um, for example, I've paid... I got a... Um, like, however many weeks ago it was, like four or five weeks ago, I found G1 Menacer. Um, and it was late at night, sitting on eBay, and I was like, oh, oh eBay, he's selling for buy it now, really dirt cheap, and I fucking ordered him. Anyway, never thought I'd remember it, and when it came, it turned out he never had Wild Rider, he had First Aid instead, and um, G1 Wide Load. For the price I got, it was ridiculous, the cheap, and it was, I was loving it, and they were on really good nick as well. But, Wild Rider seems to be the the, the more expensive of the sort of five the for well, the four Stanticons. and I've been sort of watching them on eBay and I found one for like fifteen quid. Anyway, another long story short, shorter. Um, I found this one on eBay for like literally three pence. <laughs> three pence, not three pence. I found I found him online for three pound, and he's. Uh, I think the guy who sold him has cleaned him up and taken all these like half stickers off because he's, he's got no stickers apart from his heat symbol. But do you know what? For three quid, I'm gonna get three quid off the enjoyment of that. I've got him for a tenner. I'm gonna get a tenner's worth of enjoyment of that. If somebody asked me to pay thirty quid for that, I'd tell him to fuck right off. That's the point. Um, sun surge, bad cube, sun surge. He cost me what was it? Forty quid. Uh, Oh, sorry. No. 70 quid. I've maybe not got that amount of fun out of him, but that yet. I will do. I will do. I do not regret buying him. Um, because, like I say, I'm a bit of a lame in, in some aspects of Transformer collecting, and even when it comes to the characters, I don't really see Sun Surge's flaws from a character's perspective, because all I see is a really nifty Transforming robot. I mean, he's got the slightly gangly arms, but they kind of are good for posing. His feet, while well, they look amazing, are a fucking pain in the ass to, to this whole, like, make him taller, shorter thing fucks me off, but whatever, once you post him, he's good, he's, he looks really, really good. And, I'm sorry, I mean, until something better comes out, and let's face it, nothing has yet, I'm more than happy with him. I really am happy with him. And his transformation is, I think, it's like I did it, what, two weeks ago was the last time I transformed him. And I did it three times in a row. The first time it took me 45 minutes. Because I'd done it without the instructions. Second time, 15 minutes. And then after that I could do it dead easily. And now I could do it dead easily as well. Um, like even Combiner Wars, I've seen like this figure. I prefer his wings that way to be honest. Skylinks. I've seen him getting ripped. And everyone was like going daft over him when the, 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 the sort of 
images first came up online. And then people got them and they were like, oh, he's a bit rubbish. He doesn't turn into two things. And mm, mm, mm. His, ba- his feet at the back are fucking terrible. They, they, they may as well just be nothing. I've tried tightening the screws quite a few times to keep them a bit, with a bit of like, tautness on them, but it's not working. But he was like 30 quid. <laughs> he's fucking Skylinks. Who'd have thought you'd have got a, a, a. I mean, I'd love a G1 Skylinks just for the. But. That's 30, 30 quid. And I've never had him in. Um, Again, I can't remember what the fuck it's called. He's combiner mode. He's, he's torso mode. I've never had him in that. Because I just think that's fucking awesome. It's it's a spaceship or a rocket that turns into a fucking dragon, dinosaur, or whatever. And I quite liked him in the G1 cartoon, so I was more than happy with him. So, like, again, 30 quid's worth. More than happy with him. He's fun and he's weird and he's unique and... Yeah, I was dead happy with him. And then you go online. You go online, that's the thing. You go online and, and I loved when I first started like, interacting with the community. I loved the fact that you'd, you'd go online and you'd be like, Whoa, new Toy Joy, yay, and everyone was loving it. Maybe as a newcomer it was different for me. Maybe maybe the, the guys who are long-time collectors get a bit sick of it. That's maybe the thing that was happening. But all of a sudden there was this, whereas when I first started interacting before AA last year, um, I think I figured it came out, but some, I figured it would come out, and everyone's going, "Whoa, he's amazing! New Toy Joy, Everyone's got, everyone's posting pictures. Everyone's loving it." Then, over time, and maybe it was the down slide for AA, but everyone started going, "I've got this toy." Then they get three or four messages, "Fuck, going shit! What did you buy him for? Oh, I wouldn't have bought him. He's a waste of money." That's not what nobody wants to hear. That nobody want you. That's taking joy directly to someone's face, just by going. What's, like, imagine what someone's saying, "Joy, my baby is so beautiful," and you going, "Actually, your baby's ugly, and you should be killed." And it's just no fair, and it's no, if you can't, it, I mean, if you've got a, a decent reason for it, like if it is, I don't mind somebody saying, look, he's cool, but you should have really got the X, Y, and Z version, or you should wait for, mm, that's fine, but then you just go, he's shit, I wouldn't have bought him. Because that's like saying, that's like me got somebody who's eating a, a tomato and going, I, I would never eat tomatoes, they're fucking minion, I'd like them. That's your fucking opinion. That's such a weird analogy, but you know what I mean. If you don't like that's fine, but don't fucking try and take the the pleasure of someone else's life just because you feel that they're being... I don't care. I don't care if you think that fucking... that R.I.D. shit. I don't care. I bought him. He cost me a ten round transformer. He sits on a shelf, he looks amazing, and I like him, and that's that's it. It doesn't bother me two shits if, if someone doesn't like him. Or they think they think it's... Ooh, he's for kids, or Ooh, he's transformation shit, or whatever. Fuck it. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> sorry, I got a bit aggressive there. I just... I mean... I, I've got him here, and I'll just show you him, because... I've not, I've not put him down in weeks. Um, there you go. There's a, there's a, that's a prime example, actually. This figure, I mean, I got this figure th- through the Secret Santa last year, but um, he's what, like, you can get him for a tenner now, maybe? Depending on where you get him. And that's like, you're not going to get a, a figure for this quality for that amount of money. The one thing with mine is, his legs don't stay together, like, when you, when you try and transform him. So I've had to put blue tack any between his legs to get him to turn from but I don't care. He's awesome. He's fucking brilliant. He's cool. I like him a lot. Yeah, so so basically the I just want to put a video out there um to sort of get straight in my head the confusion as to why there's so much distaste for so many figures at the moment. Don't know. This is it's not really. I'm not saying anyone's wrong with their opinions. I'm not saying anyone's wrong. If you love third party, good luck to you. Because I couldn't afford those fuckers, and I couldn't justify spending money on them. I mean, I got him at a time when I had a lot of spare money, but that's different. Let's see, I lost my train of thought again. I could give you an example. I fucking fucking hate things like. Game of Thrones. I don't like wrestling. I hate wrestling. I don't get why people would enjoy it. It's just mostly dudes fucking essentially doing a sweaty naked opera. That's what it is, in my opinion. But I would never say to someone that, why would you like that? It's stupid. I think it. I'd never say it. I would never try and poo poo someone else's enjoyment in something. Game of Thrones. I, I'm sick of people trying to tell me that Game of, or The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead is so shit. In my opinion, but 
that's something else that gets shoved in your throat. But I'm not going to say to folk Game of Thrones is shit. I'm not going to say to folk Walking Dead shit. I'll say I well like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think it's rubbish. But I would never be like, that. you're fucking stupid for watching that. I mean, because I used to like Star Trek Voyager. So, I've got no right to slack anybody off as it is. This might, I'll, I'll try and edit this video. It might not even make sense once it's been cut to bits. It's just, I really... The gaming community, when I was part of that, and when I say part of, I mean like a very satellite observer type thing. I don't really get involved. I like to, I like to interact with people, but I don't really get involved in things. Um, this it became very, and still is very bandwagony. It's all of a sudden it's like let's all click for SNES or let's all oh those fucking amiibo things. Let's all get amiibos. Oh, we all get amiibos, and then everyone bought them. I never like. Um, but and then like months down the line, they were, everyone's like, it's almost like they wait for one person to go. I don't like this, and then it's like, oh, me neither, I don't like it either, and then it's, oh, everyone fucking gets rid of The same, I mean, Thieves' review on, on Sun Surge kind of had that effect as well, I think. There was a lot of, like, Sun Surge is, is amazing! Thieves is his shit, oh, actually, he is a bit shit. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just the, the heat of the moment thing, everyone gets excited. Like tracks, MP tracks, everyone went, Bleh. everyone went fucking do Lally for him. And now he's like, and then slowly everyone was like, well actually he's kind of shit. And everyone was like, yeah he's kind of shit. Whatever. I'm just, I'm trying to get straight in my head why people feel the need to be down on, on people quite a lot. About what they collect. Maybe some of us can't afford masterpieces and stuff. Maybe that's another consideration. People are monetarily forced to try and enjoy it in ways that they would otherwise prefer not to. And that's fine as well. If you can find genuine joy in something, oh. you're not just buying for the sake of it. I don't buy for the sake of it. Sometimes. Um, but if you're buying for the sake of it, if you're buying things because that's what you can afford, if you can still get pleasure in it, then it's worth it. So I, don't, I think there should be a lot more there should be a lot more in the community especially love for things that we already have. Too often it's all about the new, the new Toy Joy. Um, a new MP comes in, everyone gets it, everyone posts pictures, that's it, you never hear them again. That's not true of everybody, obviously, that's not true of everybody. There's, there, are, there are the few that love their figures and will just constantly show that love. And that's fine, that's good, that's what I'd like to see. I want to see like all these guys that have got massive collections, but you never see them because they only show what the new bots are. You never, you never see them say, "Oh, I got this like fucking ten years ago." Well, I'd love to see more of that, to be honest. Anyway, this is a, this is already at twenty minutes. I'm gonna to have to try and cut it into ten minutes so my fucking shitty Scottish Borders internet can upload it. Uh, yeah, just try and be nicer, everybody. Price point and enjoyment point is the point. Um, if it costs a fiver, and you can get a fiver's worth of enjoyment out of it. It's worth it as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, just fucking enjoy your toys and stop being moany bastards.